All right, Bob, this one's for you. Over here, I have my spring that's going to be uh, receiving the power from my negative post. And I've got that stainless steel bolt, which is going to be receiving power from the positive post. The two don't touch. So as a as a power, the electricity tries to move from the spring to the stainless steel bolt. It's going to produce electrolysis, which should uh, separate out the hydrogen and the oxygen atoms. And uh, they will eventually pressurize as enough gas builds up. The gas will flow out here, and we should start seeing bubbles here. And to test it, I will take a match and uh, light it off and see if those bubbles ignite. So I'm going to plug in the power supply here. Alright, you can see it building up. It should start producing bubbles there on the right hand side. There we go. Let's see if we can make the light a little bit better. There is a bubble. All right, we've got a nice consistent uh, pattern there. That is oxygen and hydrogen moving over. Now, the purpose of this bubbler is twofold. One, it probably cleanses the gas a little bit um, in case there's any impurities in here. Two, it acts as a fire suppressor. So, if I had the cap on this and had a spout going back out of it into a a tube for say a a brass um, a brass bit on the end to produce maybe a torch or going into a a tube for fuel for something. If that would flash back into it, that water would act as a flash suppressor. So just to show you, it's working here. Anyway, that's it.